Hello, welcome to Zim Capture. I'm inventor Dan Zim. And Zim is zimjs.com is an open source framework to make interactive media on the HTML canvas using JavaScript and CreateJS. In this capture, we're going to take a look at the layout class, which is part of the pages module. So we're moving into the pages module with these captures where we're going from one page to another, we're doing layout, we're seeing grids and guides and hotspots and these types of things. So let's take a look at some code. Here we have a page and it's just a container and then we've got a nav, content and an add. And let's take a look at that. So we save that and open it. Oh, it's just all kind of clumped there and it's not laid out. Ah. So we can use a, a layout class to do that. Let's take a look at uh, some documentation. Oh, that would be back here where we were. We'll open up a new window, head on over to the docs, and type in lay and enter. Here we are at the layout class. So layout arranges objects on the page by fitting them in regions. Okay. So uh, let's see an example of that. If we scroll on down here to the bottom, there's the bits link and we click on the bits and here we can view this thing. So this is a vertical layout. And now we've got these bounds here and we can hit the B key to remove the bounds, but uh, we've got the bounds keys just to show us what's happening here. As I squeeze this, you can see that uh, a variety of things are happening. So this is vertical for, um, for a vertical mobile app. And I'll just undo the bounds there and you can imagine that that's what it would look like on an iPad. That's what it would look like on an iPhone 6. You know, we're doing our best to make it look nice with, within the different sizes. So we've got a content area that's kind of, you know, forced to be square. So what do we do with the things outside of it? Well, uh, let's bring back the bounds. We've decided to t set these bounds. They have uh, margins, so margins will space them. They don't have to, but if we didn't have margins, as I open this up, then these things would bump into one another. So we can specify in the layout, we can specify margins. We can also specify what to do within the region that we've, we've got here. As you can see, uh, this is top aligned. So that's top aligned and this this one at the bottom is bottom aligned those could have been centered so you can adjust alignments like that you can also adjust maximum sizes and and minimum sizes of things as well now there's horizontal layouts which go across and there's vertical layouts like this one and you specify in the layout object you specify which you want and they're treated slightly differently uh, for instance there's no uh, margins here on the side that's done with a max width so this this thing has a max width of it looks like about 90 percent or 80 percent or something like that and that's what's uh, causing these edges it's not a margin or a padding or anything like that but there are margins in the ver vertical sense but if you had a horizontal layout it's it's kind of swapped on that so we haven't provided everything that's available in CSS in terms of margins and paddings. As a matter of fact, paddings is done sort of within each region itself. So as we make a region, we can apply our own padding as we make it. And we throw it in the layout, and layout doesn't have any padding. It's only got margins. So uh, I think you'll find, though, that you can pretty well do everything that you want to do, and certainly the most common things. So. So there you have it. Sorry we didn't rebuild CSS on the canvas, but <laughs> we're seeing how far we want to take this in, in the first place. And it's pretty good to get these, uh, these regions. Uh, now, I, I've been doing flexible design like this, what I call flex design uh, since Adobe Flex. Um, Adobe Flex was built for exactly this kind of stuff. And then I think Adobe probably went on to help uh, the CSS people uh, with the flex um, display that they've got there. So that's kind of cool. And sort of that's what flex design is, is giving us like that. All right. And others call it responsive design, et cetera. It's, uh, you know, a, a variety. It's almost like adaptive responsive. Okay, so we're back to here. Let's see if we can put this in a layout. Yeah, that sounds good. 
All right, so we scroll on down here and we make a var layout is equal to a new zim dot layout layout like that. Oh, brilliant. Now, let's see if we pop on back to that documentation here. Oh, that was no longer the documentation. Oh, uh, go back and hit this one. Uh, there's the docs. Clunk. And now we're back into the docs of the layout. We'll just copy this stuff up at the top, which I'm going to do. And paste it above our layout right here. Boop, boop, doop. So, uh, Holder, where is where is our stuff that we're going to be laying out? And if we take a look, we've got a page uh, container. And you see we're adding everything to the page. Now, you don't have to. You could add everything to the stage. It would actually make it easier for a single layout. If you only had you know a single thing to lay out on the stage, that's fine. You, you don't need to put everything in, into a container. But we've, um, we're going to show you how you can have multiple pages and swap between pages with the Pages class in an upcoming capture. So we're kind of wanting to, you to get ready for that, where we will store all of our pages with their layouts inside of um, different containers. And then we'll manage that with the Pages object, or with a Pages object. So coming down here, then the holder for us is actually pages, like, oh, just page single. And then we have these regions, and these regions are an array. So here's an array that is going to hold a bunch of objects, each one with uh, an object parameter or property object colon. And the first one, what's our first region? Mm, it was nav, like that. And there's other properties that we can add in there, but uh, we'll get to those in just a second. So that's one, two, and three. The next one was the content, like so. And the last one was the add that we're laying out. So those are the regions that we're laying out. We can then specify a background color for the whole thing. A The last, uh, oh, whether we want it vertical or not. Oh, I forgot the last margin. I knew there was something like that in there. So there's the last margin. Um, each of these can have a margin. And this is the margin from the top. This is the margin from what's above. This is the margin from what's above. And we've got nowhere to add that last margin. So <laughs> it comes outside and we've got a last margin. A background color for the whole thing, whether we want vertical or horizontal. So we'll need to get to that. Um, fortunately, otherwise we could just sort of leave it at this. The a region shape, and, and that will show us the, the regions in a graphical form. And we'll definitely do this as we're trying to learn what all this is doing. I usually leave that, um, pass in a shape there. So that's a Zim shape. A scaling object. Now that's going to be important in this case because the page is currently not scaling. Nothing's scaling it. Uh, it's easier to just set the scaling object to the stage. And then as we set, as we scale the stage, then we can easily scale these layouts because it will just scale with the stage. If we happen to build this directly on the stage and put stage here, and then we go and scale the stage, we wouldn't have to do, uh, we wouldn't have to pass in a scaling object. And so if we were on a stage and it were vertical, this is all we would need for the layout object. Uh, we would see something happen. Now we are horizontal though, so we need to get to that. Let's uh, let's do that. So comma, we'll pass in just nulls for, for all these other ones for now. So that was the last margin of null. We'll just leave it null. A um, background color, we'll just leave that as null. That'll be transparent then. Vertical, we want false like so. Uh, the region shape, yeah, well let's put that in now. So a region shape is a new Zim dot shape. Of course, you can read in the documentation about any of this. And then the scaling objects, as mentioned, is the stage. The last parameter way off the end there is which key do we want to hide these things. By default, it's B for bounds. All right. Oh, what else was uh, missing? Oh, yeah, we don't want stage there. We want page there. Okay. Shall we see 
And what happens? We save this and we refresh here. And there we go. Okay. Oh, but no scaling. Drats. Too bad. Okay. So it laid it out just sort of as a first layout. Uh, but with ZimFit, we don't get automatic scaling. So we come on down here into the resize, or we don't get automatic resize. So down here, we can say, uh, what was it called again? Layout. Layout dot resize, like so. And that will resize our layout object for us. Nice. Okay. Uh, however, it looks like we want, that's the add, this is our window, that's like going to be content. We want some, some uh, margin in there. So let's go in and place some margins. So comma margin, uh, colon 5%. So all of this stuff, by the way, is in percentage now. So let's add 5% to each of those things, 5 so that was the last margin there that we just added, five. So we save that and refresh here. Uh, oh, something bad happened. I think, oh, my apologies. Margin left colon, margin left colon, and this sort of spells it out, margin left colon. There's also, um, if you're going the other way, margin tops and stuff like that. So there's our margin lefts. So we got one margin on the, the very last margin of a five there, of a 5%. So now we've got 5% margins. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, note that we've got alignment on the top, so that's not too bad. And if we hit the B key, there we go. That's, that's our layout. Uh, now that is... I guess if we make that bigger, it hits the bottom. So uh, this may be what we want. It's a little bit awkward. That's, that thing's huge. So we might want to specify certain percentages of widths. So what happens here is this is all hungry. It takes as much as it can get evenly. And uh, so that, that's what, you know, that's what we're seeing here as we increase this. It's just it's taking as much room as it can and giving equal amount of room to everything. So if we say, well, no, Mr. Nav, I want you to have a width of uh, 5%, then no longer will this thing go so big. You know, that, that thing, that I don't want my dial to be that big. So if I refresh here, now we're only getting a 5% width on, on that dial. Well, actually, that's a little bit small, isn't it? Give it a 10 it depends on what we've got in the nav. We, we can adjust that and, and change it and so forth. Okay, so now that doesn't get really big. Uh, instead, um, well said, <laughs> we, we get all that space, which may or may not be what we want. Okay, but that's all right. Now let's see, what else do we want to do? How about we'll bottom align them? Okay, so that would be V align colon bottom, oh, in quotes, bottom. And we'll do that for, oh, how about the content as well? Oopsies, I copied the wrong place there. We'll do that for the bottom as well. How's everybody doing out there? This can be, uh, you know, it takes a little bit of a learning curve to get around that. Note, we didn't V-align this one, so uh, that kind of sucks. Perhaps we should. How about it? We're going to V-align the other ones. And now there we go. It's all V-aligning, and if we bounce to kind of take it away, that's what it would look like. But normally we don't have our stuff stuck right on the bottom like that. So maybe we want to um, adjust that. Um, we do that. Remember, there's in the horizontal, we don't have uh, the margin top doesn't work. I don't think. Should we try it? Let's just check it out. Uh, on the nav, we will say margin. I don't even think there is a margin bottom. 
comma margin dash oh <laughs> sorry margin bottom colon uh five percent let's just see if it works if i recall that's not how we do it no no margin bottom happening there instead what we do is we say max height so oh not five well actually that could possibly be the max height for the nav, but uh, if we give it a max height of say 90, then you'll see what happens here. Refresh. That now has a max height and that moves it up. So I think you'll find that everything you need to position stuff is here. It's a little bit different than what you might be used to, but at least we didn't have to remake all of CSS. <laughs> Okay, so this should get you by with what you need to know. Um, we can bump this one up as well. How about uh, we'll give that a, the same max height? On, well, I'll do it on all of these. And refresh here. And we'll hide the bounds. B. And here's what we got at the moment. Oh, does that even work? Oh, it does. Oh, how cool. What absolutely lovely content we have. I think what we're planning on here is, is sticking up like a button dial, kind of going up a little bit. This is an ad. There's our, our main content and so forth. Now, I've made a fair bit of, of content uh, arranged with this kind of stuff. Shall we take a look at one? If we go to the Zim site here, there's under examples, there's, for instance, Psychic Pixels. Now, Psychic Pixel is a little bit different. This is the web version, uh, but in the mobile version of Psychic Pixels, what happens is it, you, know, you can see that it's arranged for more of a vertical arrangement. But as the phones get longer, then I just stretch this out a little bit. So this goes down to the bottom and there's more space in here, that kind of stuff. I, I, make the, I make this get bigger, but it gets bigger up to only a certain point and then doesn't get bigger anymore. You know, so it's, it's uh, locked down that way. Cool, huh? There's the help screen. So this was uh, created with the layout. And on mobile, like I said, that changes. There's almost really no point in doing the responsive design if you're in a fit mode, which we're in right here. This is a fit mode. And then everything could just be positioned based on absolute pixels. And it never changes because the whole thing is being fit. All right. For some reason, I feel like saying I love you. I love you. So this has been a Zim Capture here at zimjs.com. Uh, I'm inventor Dan Zen, and stay tuned for upcoming captures where we took a look at how to go from one page to another with swiping, and what are these hotspots we've been mentioning? Oh, yeah, that will be fun. Have a great day.